First, I would like to mention that all the information I will be explaining will have the links from which I learned it down below. For a bit of background information, Catalonia is an autonomous community of Spain on the northeastern side, containing the provinces of Barcelona, Girona, Leida, and Tarragona. I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced those. This community has been present for hundreds of years, passing through wars and ownership. However, after the death of Francisco Franco, the dictator of Spain from 1936 to 1975, the community has been gaining much more freedom. They have their own government, although they are still accountable to Spain in total, which consists of the Parliament of Catalonia, the President of the Government of Catalonia, and the Executive Council of Catalonia. Their economy is extremely successful, with the nominal GDP of Catalonia in 2014 at 200 billion euros, which is the highest in Spain out of their, um, uh, sorry, um, out of their uh, communities, and I'll get later into how many they have. Okay, so this community actually contributes roughly 20% to Spain's GDP, so if Catalonia did split off, Spain would be losing a big part of its economy. After all, Barcelona is one of Europe's biggest tourist destinations. So right now, Catalonia is wanting independence from Spain, as I'm sure you know from the title. This is not something that is entirely new. There were revolutions in the late 1930s, and people have been wanting more and more freedom, eventually leading up to today's crisis. Obviously, the Spanish government in Madrid does not want Catalonia to split. I mean, that's obvious. Spain's government has 17 autonomous regions, which make up the country. It is a more decentralized government in a way that is brought together by the Spanish Constitution of 1978. If one of these regions split off, what is to stop the rest from splitting off? Would Spain become 17 new countries? I mean, furthermore, what would this mean for the European Union, the EU? If every country started splitting up into different parts, there would be way too many in the European Union, and it would cease to be productive entirely. Also, as discussed earlier, Spain would be losing a large amount of its economy, 20% of its national GDP, uh, if Barcelona, I mean, sorry, if um, Catalonia split off. On Tuesday, the 24th October of 2017, Charles, um, sorry, Puigdemont, uh, I'll say that, the president of Catalonia, issued a declaration of independence, although he immediately, like right after he signed it, suspended it. And he said, so it was more a symbolic action, to be honest. So he's asking for dialogue between Catalonia and the Spanish government for talks about independence, which Catalonia still wants. They still want the independence. They're just asking for talks to discuss it so they can do it in a peaceful manner and so no one gets hurt, which they already are. Uh, he has stated, we propose the suspension of the effects of the Declaration of Independence for a few weeks to open a period of dialogue. And I'm quoting this. If everyone acts responsibly, the conflict can be resolved can be resolved in a calm and agreed manner. So, in response to that, the Spanish Interior Minister Juan Ignacio Zuado has said that Puigdemont must say unambiguously yes or no in the next few days if Catalonia wants to declare independence. Now, the Spanish government may even carry out Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution, which basically in a shortened summary says that the Spanish government can impose direct rule upon the community if they try to revolt, which they're saying they are. They're, the Spanish government is saying they're revolting, uh, basically. Okay, so however, many are stating that this is already being imposed as the Spanish government has, spent in, has sent in a large amount of police that are, in fact, brutally attacking the people. So as you can see, this is a very serious situation and one that does not have an easy outcome either way. Those are the facts which I've just stated, and I hope they enlightened you more as to what is happening in southwestern Europe right now. Thank you very much. Yeah.